Hi everyone and welcome to my 36 week pregnancy update. So if you are new to my channel, you may not know that I am 36 weeks with my second baby. It is a girl. I have a little boy named Maverick and he is 17 months old or so. He'll be 18 months old when the baby's born. But I'm just gonna jump right in. I did have a doctor's appointment. I'm having weekly doctor's appointments. A super quick rundown if you're new. I do have gestational diabetes, so I've been seeing the doctor um, every single week since about, oh, I don't know, 30 some week, 30 weeks, 31 weeks maybe. Um, anyways, I get weekly ultrasounds and non-stress tests just to check on the baby. Everything's looked good so far, but I will fill you in on that here in a little bit. So really, this is late and I just didn't feel good. I've never been late on one of my pregnancy updates unless it had to do with like a appointment. But um, I just did not feel good, like, I don't know, just tired and ready to be done. So anyways, I am late and I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that on, what was it supposed to be, Tuesday? But really I am like 36 weeks, almost 37 weeks. So um, I will fill you in on last week. So baby girl is the size of a bunch of kale, like a head of kale, I guess. She is about six pounds and about 18 to 19 inches. So that's really crazy because that's like the size Maverick was. Well, he was six pounds, six ounces. So um, I think she's gonna be bigger than that. I wouldn't be surprised if she's over seven pounds, but we'll see. So I'll just go through my list of questions. Um, how far along, I already said. Uh, actually, I'm like 36 weeks, four or five days today. Total weight gain. According to my weight at the doctor's office the other day, I gain have gained... 24 pounds so far which i think is still in range but we're getting to the top of that i'll tell you about my ultrasound results here in a minute and that might contribute to it as well maternity clothes i haven't bought anything new i haven't bought anything new for a while um at this point like all i wear is t-shirts and leggings or like i'll show you what i'm wearing i did definitely not get dressed i barely put makeup on for this video um i just haven't felt like it I'm just kind of over it. Stretch marks, just the same one, and then there's kind of one on my belly button that I'll show you guys later. How are you sleeping? I'm sleeping okay. I just get up at least four to five times a night to go to the bathroom, and then it takes me like five to 10 minutes to get like resettled. Um, I have a pillow, like a little pillow. It's um that I've used this entire pregnancy to try and like support my back, and that's been helping, but now I'm having to like have something on both sides to help. I also have, we have a, um, I feel bad saying this, but cause not everyone has this option I know, but we have a sleep number with the, you know, the head and the feet go up and down. And Brian's been telling me for weeks, he's like, just try to put the head up just a little bit for like supporting my back. And I'm like, that's not gonna help. It's just gonna like crunch me up. And then I'm gonna be all like, so one night I tried it, I just, just a couple, like I don't even know what degree it is. It's just a little tiny bit up the head and it helped so much with my back pain. And I don't know if it just kind of supports my belly more so it's not like pulling on my mid back, but it definitely is helping. And I did make sure that he knew that he was right and that I listened to him and that it is working well. I have had a new issue with some like sciatica pain um, and that's like, I don't know, like when I'm walking up the stairs or carrying Maverick on one side or the other, which I can't avoid. So, I mean, um, I just kind of, I don't know. It's mostly on my right side. It runs down like the right, my right leg. Um, and that's kind of new in the last week. I had that really bad with Maverick, but I haven't really had it this pregnancy until the last week. Best moment this week, um, I had a couple friends come over and help me like get my nursery a little bit more ready or mostly just clothes. Like everything that I got um, for my shower and that people have given me and everything, we took the tags off, um, got them ready to wash. I washed them, started putting them away and um, things like that. So that was so helpful to have them come over and it was so nice of them to take the time and help me do that. Missing anything? Mm, breathing? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I can't breathe most of the time. 
and the whole eating thing like I just can't eat as much and it I like to drink like soup or whatever because then I feel like I can like have a normal meal um, otherwise I just feel like I'm always eating like always like just a couple like things at a time just so that I can keep my blood sugars up because my blood sugars have kind of like started to trend down a little bit and I did up my medication me and my doctor up my medication um, so I don't know if I need to back off that a little bit just because I can't eat regularly but um yeah I I just want to breathe and eat normally <laughs> that's what I'm looking forward to movement she's still super active even through like the whole night um and she definitely still lets me know when I'm in the wrong position and she will let me know and when I carry Maverick she like totally goes nuts so I have to kind of like position him <laughs> perfectly so he's not like sitting on her but there's another thing I can't avoid food cravings um this is funny because my friend Mariah uh, her channel is called Dairy State Vegan she is craving lemons and I have craved the same thing this week I'm craving lemons like so bad like um even in my water lemon in my water and then um I found this yogurt at Aldi's it was it's really good it's like lemon meringue I don't know it's really really good so I've been eating that. Symptoms, I kind of went over my back pain and sciatica. Um, ooh, just a lot of heartburn. Like, um, my cousin was here this last week and we had so much fun while she was here, but um, we made this soup that my mom always makes and I actually have it um, linked on my channel, but it is like, like a Mexican type soup. I don't know, it's really good, but it has just a little bit of spice to it and it's just like, and I love it so much, but it, it's like causing me to have a lot of acid reflux. So I've had to back off like spicy things and just kind of eat bland the last few days to kind of help that. But I don't know. At this point, I just think like there's so much going on up here that it just is pushing it up anyway. So I don't know if I can avoid it these last couple weeks. I also feel like I have the pregnancy waddle already at 36 weeks. Um, I just feel like I'm all like... I don't know huge like and especially coming up the stairs I have to like position my legs to go out instead of normally you know I don't know I just feel really funny walking also this week has been crazy I guess it's been I don't know 10 days since I did my last pregnancy update but the Braxton Hicks are intense I never had them with Maverick I don't think maybe I just didn't know what to expect but this time around like holy cow the last week and she'll get all crazy in there or if i'm chasing maverick around or something then it just oh it's so tight and it almost like sometimes my belly gets just kind of abnormally shaped at the top it's really really weird um but yeah i get them several times a day and um yeah they're super super intense they don't hurt really it's just like really uncomfortable i have to sit down and it and that pulling that I've been talking about for weeks and weeks, like gets really, really intense and it kind of goes into my back. So I hope that doesn't mean that I'm going to have back labor. Yeah. So I guess my body's just getting ready and I am thankful for that. But uh, I'm just going to tell you about what my ultrasound results said. So if you guys have been watching, you know that my um, weekly ultrasounds have shown that my amniotic fluid is kind of building up more and more and that can be a complication of gestational gestational diabetes um but it's been building and building and then this last two times it's been more and she said that the complication of that is that um she's just kind of floating around in there more than she would normally and if my water breaks on its own it can we run the risk of the cord you know being under her head and her just dropping down on it too quickly um and obviously then she wouldn't get blood flow so that is a complication there's just too much room in there almost she's just floating around so um i've been a little bit nervous about that i just don't want my water to break on its own i want to make it to my induction date so which i'm not going to share with you guys i want it to be kind of a surprise um but 
yeah, I'm, I've just been a little bit nervous about that, especially with the increasing fluid and then, um, the, and then all the Braxton Hicks that I've been having, like, just like, oh, please don't let my water break. Um, so that is a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. So hopefully I make it to my induction day or at least, at least another week or so. Um, I don't want my water to break outside of the hospital just in case that does happen. Um, I just don't want her to be without like blood flow. That'd be real scary. Also this week we did not get a good picture of her on the ultrasound. She had her like hand in her face and she was just all over the place. So plus I had to take Maverick to my doctor's appointment this week and he, he was really good for a one year old. Like he really, really does good. But, um, yeah, it was just like, get it over with because we got, we still have the non-stress test and to see the doctor. So we didn't um, mess with it too much, but, um, yeah. Uh, I have started to have a little bit of swelling in my feet. Um, with Maverick, I had it a lot. And I think that was because I took a trip, I think about 34 weeks, we took a trip to Colorado for my baby shower that, um, my family threw for me there. And then after that, I just like my feet would never recover. It's a like nine, 10 hour drive. So I just had a lot, lot of swelling after that. And it would just never go down, but I haven't had that swelling this time at all and then this week they just got a little tiny bit puffy nothing like it was with maverick so um i'm hoping that doesn't get worse and i was just trying to drink a lot of fluid um not so much salt that kind of thing just to kind of prevent it but yeah a little bit puffy this last week belly button in or out and i it's still in i don't know i can't remember if i ever like popped with maverick I don't think so because I don't really have that type of belly button. I don't know. It may not. It's like super stretched, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's still in. Wedding ring on or off and it's still on. I'm not wearing it today. I don't put any earrings on, nothing. Um, I just wanted to get this out for you guys. It still fits. It's a little bit more snug than normal, but yeah, it's still on. Happy or moody? And I would say happy. I hope that my moodiness is gone for good. <laughs> This has been the moodiest ugh, I've ever been in my whole life with this pregnancy. I've been pretty good the last couple weeks, but holy moly. What are you looking forward to? And hmm, I don't know, just for Ryan to be here and for us to have this baby. I'm just, I'm really, really ready. I'm really ready to have her. All right, I think that is it for this pregnancy update. I'm just going to show you a belly shot and a lot big. I feel like I'm huge. I'm just, I just feel like I'm a lot bigger than last time. So get ready for that. But yeah, I will show you a belly shot and that will be it for my 36 week pregnancy update. I have a countdown on my phone for the days until our induction date and it is getting really close you guys. So stay tuned for my baby watch and name reveal and all that kind of stuff coming up on my channel. Um, please bear with me with the nursery. The nursery tour will probably be after she's born because, um, Honestly, she'll be downstairs with us for, I'm thinking a good month at least, if not like three months, that's how Maverick was. So anyways, I will keep you guys posted on that, but it may not be till after she's born. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you are new and we will see you next time. Working out the ways that you'll always be right